Hey Cowboys Nation, let's go for another round of news from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and sign up to stay tuned for everything that comes out about the Cowboys. Report. Jerry Jones drops. Intriguing response to Mike McCarthy's potential Dallas Cowboys extension. Mike McCarthy's future as the Dallas Cowboys head coach has always been a hot topic, ever since Jerry Jones and the team hired him in 2020. For a franchise with high expectations year in and year out, any season short of a Super Bowl is considered a disappointment. While the Cowboys have yet to reach the big stage under McCarthy, they have been consistent playoff contenders under his tutelage. For the third straight year, America's team is heading to the postseason, and they actually have a good chance to top the NFC this year if things work out in their favor. With that being said, Jones was asked recently if McCarthy is in line for an extension amid the consistent improvement the team has made under him. McCarthy will have two years left in his contract after 2023, and so he is due for an extension talk real soon. Jones, however, refused to answer directly if McCarthy will get his contract renewed further. But he had nothing but high praises for him, indicating that he's happy with what the veteran tactician has done so far. Not even the ugly 31-10 loss to the Buffalo Bills in Week 15 has affected Jonah's view of his head coach. Well, he's coached three playoff teams in a row. I think he's done an outstanding job. I think the fact that he's your offensive coordinator as well as your head coach puts him as high or a higher stead than when he was the walk-around coach, Jerry Jones told Shan and RJ on 105.3 The Fan. All of those things are positive. I frankly said to the staff yesterday, you got us in this spot to be as disappointed as we are about the Buffalo deal and our loss there. It's your fault because y'all have done such a great job this year getting our team to where we, our fans, everybody have the expectations that we have. In other words, I didn't spend my day in there looking grumpy or however you might look, even though we were all disappointed. The best part of our team this year has been the coaching staff. It sure sounds Mike McCarthy is getting an extension, and deservingly so. Nonetheless, anything can happen in the NFL, and perhaps the only thing that can ascertain McCarthy's future as Dallas's head coach is a Super Bowl win. There's still a lot that can happen this 2023 season, so Jones is probably just being cautious of saying anything that could be misconstrued or be the source of rumors. Should four-time Pro Bowl pass rusher sign with Dallas? The Carolina Panthers released veteran pass rusher Justin Houston before Week 16. Should the Dallas Cowboys extend an offer to sign the fading star? Would he help ease Micah Parsons' burden? It's the week before Christmas. Tis the season for some grace from our bosses. Less to do? Maybe a holiday bonus? Or even, in the case of Justin Houston, permission to leave? The Carolina Panthers cut the veteran edge rusher on Tuesday, bringing an amicable end to his short stint in the NFC South. The move comes with minimal risk to the team and allows Houston, who turns 35 in January, a chance to pursue a better opportunity, and perhaps one last chance at a Super Bowl. As has been reported, Houston is open to playing again this season, but only for a contender. Should the Dallas Cowboys extend an offer? Our analysis. As much as their ego was bruised in Sunday's 31 10 loss to the Buffalo Bills, the Cowboys are still contenders. At 10 4 and firmly in the conversation for the second best team in the NFC, Dallas is presumably one of the dozen teams Houston would consider. One argument against fans shouldn't expect a late season reinforcement on the edge because there simply isn't any room for him. The Cowboys are productive as a pass rush group. Pro Football Focus has the pass rush ranked third in all of football, behind just the Cleveland Browns and San Francisco 49ers. They rank fifth in sack percentage, one of the dozen teams with at least 40 sacks, and sit in the top half of the league in pressure percentage. It may not be the world-beating unit it looked like it would be after the first month of the season, but Dallas is perfectly fine in this regard. Furthermore, the unit is also deep enough to sustain an injury. 
Obviously, losing superstar Micah Parsons or stalwart Demarcus Lawrence would be detrimental, but rotational pass rushers Dante Fowler Jr., Dorrance Armstrong, and Sam Williams all have a higher pass rush win rate than Houston, 9.5. Houston did start seven games this year, and he is officially a four-time pro bowler, but his heyday was almost literally a decade ago. The veteran has just a half sack to his name in seven games this season, struggling to stay on the field for what is a putrid Panthers defense. A flip side argument, adding Houston might free Parsons to play more off-ball linebacker, a spot where Dallas was, as you'll remember, interesting in Shaq Leonard before he picked Philly. But again, how would Dallas justify putting Houston on the field ahead of Dante Fowler Jr., Dorrance Armstrong, and Sam Williams? If Houston comes along for the ride and provides some mentorship and depth to a stretch run, so be it. But basically, any other team making a championship push makes more sense for both parties. Report. Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones has marvelous reaction to Philadelphia Eagles' loss. Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones didn't hide his delight after watching the Seattle Seahawks upset the Philadelphia Eagles in Week 15. The Cowboys and Eagles are in a tight race in the NFC East, with both teams owning a 10-4 record after the latest round of games. Philadelphia could have overtaken Dallas in the standings with a win on Monday after America's team lost ugly against the Buffalo Bills in their Sunday showdown. With that said, when the Seahawks pulled off the epic 2017 come from behind Victor over the Eagles, Jones, and perhaps the rest of Dallas, was unsurprisingly ecstatic. After all, the result lessened the blow of their defeat to the Bills even for a little bit. When asked about his reaction to the Seahawks-Eagles game, however, Jones made sure to commend Drew Locke and co. as well. Aside from the fact that the Seattle win benefited them, the billionaire pointed out that he genuinely enjoyed the exchange of blows. It was marvelous. I watched every bit of it. I thought I was about to doze then when they made those two exciting plays I couldn't sleep until four in the morning because of the impact it can have in our year, Jones told Shannon RJ on Odyssey's 105.3 The Fan via Todd Archer of ESPN. Jerry Jones couldn't have been more real here. The Dallas Cowboys really needed that break, and the football gods smiled on them as they gave exactly what Mike McCarthy's men were probably praying for. Jerry Jones, Dallas Cowboys, Job not yet over. Jerry Jones' Dallas Cowboys remain atop the NFC East, for now. Despite currently leading the division, Dallas could lose the top seed if both them and the Philadelphia Eagles win all their remaining three games. As Sporting News explained, the complicated tiebreakers would allow the Eagles overcome the Cowboys for the NFC East top seed in the event they win out. Dallas is currently ahead due to the win-loss record in the division, but Philadelphia would have the advantage based on win-loss record against common opponents. The Eagles would be at 10-2, while the Cowboys would be at 9-3. With that being said, aside from needing to make sure that they win the remainder of their games, the Cowboys will need to hope that the Eagles lose at least one or two of their final three games. As it stands, the Cowboys have a tougher road compared to the Eagles. Dak Prescott and Cumster face two top teams in the next three weeks in the Miami Dolphins and Detroit Lions, while Jalen Hurt and Philly play the New York Giants twice and the Arizona Cardinals, both of which have a losing record. The Cowboys definitely have their work cut out for them.